Hey, Chris here, and welcome to another Creating with Clip Art. And today I'm going to show you this new project I have here, these fairies, and they are very near and dear to my heart because my nan was actually one of the original flower fairies. So this is really exciting to work on, and I hope you like it too. So today I'm going to show you how to work with these elements to create a pillow. So um, this would be for um, any sort of physical products really um, doesn't necessarily just have to be a pillow but that's what we'll be doing today so this will be how to create a composition and use some of the materials in here to create your really cute design so once you've selected which license you're going to purchase and downloaded your zip file you'll go into your downloads and find the folder and unzip that and here you go these are all um, this is all what's in the pack you'll have um, pre-made arrangements and the fairies they all come in multiple colors and variations and um, the treehouse elements and toadstools and a ton of flowers of course we always have lots of flowers so you can go and pick up all your favorites in there so today we're going to jump into photoshop and this will work just the same in procreate or whatever other graphic editor you have it's basically just placing files so we are working in Photoshop today, but like I said, it will work. The same concepts will work for you pretty much in any other graphics editor. So before I get started, I'm just gonna show you what the size of canvas I'm using. So it's 2,220 by the same as it is a square, and it's 300 DPI. So first I'm actually gonna start by creating a border for my pillow. So I'm going to just use the rectangle tool and of course in other and other editors you'll have a rectangle tool most likely or you can draw your border whichever way you prefer so I'm going to just select that and in Photoshop I'm going to go and choose my I'm going to choose my stroke and just select this color that I have here and I'm going to bump this stroke up to let's see I'm going to make it fairly oh Let's see, it's fairly thick. It's kind of eyeballing it here. It jumps quite a bit there, doesn't it? Maybe about there. So I'm at, let's say, 280 pixels. That should be good. Okay, and this color, if you want to know what this color is, it is, uh, let's see, 8FCBBF. Hopefully that helps you out. Okay, so we're going to go over there. That's great. Okay, so once that's done, I'm going to just fill my background layer with white. So there's that. I'm just going to lock that so it doesn't move anywhere. Actually, same with the rectangle for now. All right. And I'm going to go and grab some elements here. So today I'm going to use um, a Fairy 12. And I'm going to pick the this little girl here. She's Fairy Yellow 12B. Put that in there and then I'm just going to use the toggles to size her down okay and maybe we'll place her about here for now great okay so and then I'm going to go grab some toadstools and this one works nicely actually I'm going to bring this one as well so I'm just going to con command select so I can select both of those and drag them in and just size those down a touch. We'll see where this one needs to be. I'm not sure yet. Hmm. We might need that. We might not. I'll see. All right. Perhaps about there. Maybe a little touch smaller. And I'm going to move the rectangle just above all my clip art so far so it tucks in behind and we lock that. Okay. And then let's go and um, go to the tree houses. And here I have some ground cover. I'm going to use that as well. Let's see. Bring in this one. I can add some extra there, maybe stretch it out a touch. I think that's about good. Just move it down a little bit with my arrows. Good stuff. And 
then um, let's go and find some flowers. So today I'm going to use these little pansies and also uh, flower 10. So again, I'm just hold, clicking command to select multiple files at one time. And let's see, I think the raspberries. Um, I think that's it for this part. Let's see. Again, just scale these down a touch. Move these in here a little bit. And of course, I'm going to have to move these to the back. So I'm going to take those raspberries and just move them to the bottom. Okay. And then just sort of arrange arrange these around as we need. Thinking these should be a little bit smaller, so I'm going to do command T to transform. And just tuck these in here a little bit more. And then I'm going to select the raspberries and I think I'm just going to again command T and just tilt them over this way. Let's see. Make this a little bit smaller and turn it around a little bit. I kind of want to see those at the top. That's nicer there. So I'm not loving this little leaf here. So what I'm gonna do is just go down here. So you can either erase it or you can create a mask. And I'm just gonna click on this mask little button down here and that creates a mask. If I go to my brush tool and make sure that my color is on black, then I can just take this out. And it's working non-destructively, so if I change my mind later, I could easily just bring it back by painting it in white. So that's better. I like this. Um, I wanna see the shape of her face, and that's sort of more of an interesting negative space there. I'm gonna make sure that my fairy is above the toadstool as well, so I'm just gonna drag her all the way to the top here. So that's better, so that our hands are coming over top. Okay, so that's good. Of course, we have this issue here, which I don't really love. So as you can see, these little bits, these stems are not touching the ground, so I'm gonna go and grab some greenery just to sort of fill that in a little bit. Um, we can go maybe, maybe this guy will help us out. Let's see, drag them in and size them up and just pop them down here. Let's see where the stems are, there we go, okay. So that's fine, but it's in the wrong order. So I'm gonna bring this leaf above the pansy because those are the pansy stems we can see. So that, you can see, looks, looks better. Fills that in, makes that more logical. Alrighty. So the next thing we can do is create um, some interest in our background here. So what I'm gonna do is above the rectangle layer, I'm gonna bring in some more flowers and whatnot. Actually, looking at this, I'm going to make a white line around here as well. So what I'm gonna do is just take this rectangle I have, unlock it, and go Command J. And then I'm going to just go Command T to size it. Actually, you know what? Let's change the color first, otherwise you're not gonna be able to see this. So I'm gonna to go to my rectangle tool Go back to the color here of the um, stroke and change it to white. Okay, so now we'll be able to see better. So back to that layer, that copied rectangle, Command T, and then I'm going to hit Option, hold down Option, and bring my rectangle in just to make it so it's centered. Okay, and now I'm gonna change the pixels of the stroke, and I'm gonna go to Stroke again, and I'm going to say, let's see, a whole lot less. <laughs> um, I'm just eyeballing it here, maybe 25. Let's see, 25, that looks about right. Okay, so that's good. So that gave us a nice little 
double frame. So now I'm going to go get some florals and put them in between our two rectangles and you'll see why. So click on the rectangle below the green one and then go back and grab some flowers and I'm going to again pick the raspberries and let's see what else shall we pick? Maybe this white lilac. That's nice. Um, let's do this guy here, this rose 2E and this flower 7, maybe this Achillea, I think that's how you say it, <laughs> B, the white one, and maybe flower 3A, these yellow guys. Okay, let's drag them in and see if we need any more than that. So I'm just going to hit enter a couple times just so they all come in. Okay. And now I'm going to select rows and then hold shift and select the bottom one. And so they're all selected and then go command T and scale these a bit down here because they're far too large and just move them up into the corner here. Okay. So I know that looks a little silly right now, but if we just hold down option and command, this is how you'll create a clipping mask. So we can just go and clip all these ones, all these flowers to the green rectangle. Right, so now they just live in here. So that works for us. Okay, so now I'm gonna go and just start arranging these flowers. First of all, I have to click off of them because they're all selected, so then I can get that. Okay, so now I'm just gonna move them around see if we can't make something nice here. Move this guy over here. Command T to transform. Okay. So then I'm going to go and select the rows and I'm going to duplicate it. So command J to duplicate. And again, I will need to clip that again and command T to transform and we'll move that around. Maybe just change its orientation. Same with the lilac. Click on it, command J. And of course everything's disappeared. So I got to re-clip it. <laughs> Command T. I'm just going to size that up just to have something a little different. Bring in this yellow guy, so Command J, re clip it, and move it over here maybe. Good. Command J. Reclip, so that's again option and command and click in between the layers to clip and maybe down here. Good. I think I might bring in some more greenery. Actually, first I'm going to do these raspberries again. So command J, reclip it. Oops, reclip. And let's zoom out a little bit and bring them over. Let's see, I'm just going to move back a bit. I think that looks good. Okay. Maybe we'll go and bring in um, another leaf just to add some more greenery. And I think I'm going to pick this guy again. He worked well. Just size that a bit and clip him, and then we'll move him over here. And do be mindful of your layer order, because obviously here this isn't gonna work, so I'm gonna bring it below the lilac. Maybe I'll do it like that. 
good. Maybe we'll do the yellow guy again. Let's do command J and clip. Yeah, I think that's nice. And I think we need something here. What haven't we done? Hmm. Maybe just some green. Let's try that. So let's get the leaf. Command J, Command T. Bring it up. And clip him in there. I think I'm going to bring him to the bottom, the very bottom here of our flowers. Okay, so I think that looks pretty good for now. Um, it's kind of, we've just kind of created a pattern really. So that should work. I think I'm actually going to take out these mushrooms because I'm going to put a little, some words there. So I'm going to go to the very top and select my type tool. Keep it on black. I'm going to change it in a little minute. I like um, little b vector or the little b font. Um, it is available. I found it on Creative Market. And I'm just going to size this. Maybe let's make it at 18. Might work. We'll see. And we're going to say, I believe in berries. You can write whatever you want. It's your pillow. But I'm going to go here. It's just because this font um, doesn't allow you to change the color. So I'm just going to double click on it and just do a color overlay. And I'm just gonna make it, um, let's see, maybe we'll make it this green color. Let's see what that looks like. Maybe a little bit darker. Just picking it up from the leaf here. Okay, that's probably good. I believe in fairies. I think I'll just bring it down here a little bit. Just kind of figure out your sizing and spacing. Okay, so that's at about 21, 22. Okay, so I think that's pretty good for now. So this is a mock-up I've been using, so we can go and see what it'll actually look like on a pillow. And I'm just gonna hit save. And I'm gonna go to my mock-up here, and we'll see, there it is. Super cute. I think that worked out really nicely. I like having a border and a little pattern behind. That's a really simple, quick and dirty way to make a pattern, of course. <laughs> Um, so that works really nicely. So I think that's it. So I hope you enjoyed today's tutorial and if you did hit that like button subscribe and don't forget to hit the bell icon so you can be notified of new tutorials just like this one in the future. Thank you so much for watching. I love you guys and I'll see you in the next one.